Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. This is the On the Snow Snow Before You Go forecast. First thing I want to look at is my spider chart, odds of best snow next five to seven days. And you see more purple, higher on the web, that means better odds of new snow. That's Colorado this time around, that's New Mexico, that's Utah, that's Arizona, and that's California. The other places are much lower. The Pacific Northwest and Northern Tier are out of the main storm track until probably after 320 at this point. And that's a minimum. It could be after 321. Northeast, I've only got light snow. So there's not much there. Um, so those places are much lower on the chart. Um, here are my headlines, bullet points. So California just finished up with another river. Um, you've got a steady snow coming. In, in a pretty wet pattern, um, a pretty steady heavy snow, 319 through 325, so an extended period of snow. You're probably going to get a moderate to heavy accumulation um, each of those days. The Pacific Northwest and Northern Tier of States, so BC, Washington, Oregon State, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Banff, you're really out of the main storm track until potentially, like I was saying earlier, 320, 321 or later. Um, you won't see big snow until after that. In the northeast, only light snow is remaining in my forecast. Let me show you the jet stream. So this is 321. You can see the dip in the jet. It's a trough that's uh, helping to coddle an area of low pressure, which would be producing that steady precip, that steady snow for the Sierra, and then that would be blown into the interior, Utah, Colorado, northern New Mexico in particular. Now, after this period, um, that trough would start to translate north and become more of a stormy pattern for the Pacific Northwest after this occurs. Um, so let's talk about the uh, forecast radar and satellite. So by the time we get into Thursday morning, snow moving through Colorado, northern New Mexico, hangs on in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico in a 317, then it's gone. Now we're waiting. We're waiting on that trough to move in. Another little area of low pressure kind of sneaks through the southern track. Uh, southern tier. Now, by the time we get into late 320 to 321, you can already see the snow picking up in the Sierra and up in the Pacific Northwest. That's the start of that next area of low pressure. And then that would eventually move into the interior and provide heavy snow as well. So that's on its way. Let me show you what I'm thinking as far as snow. So 316 through 324, uh, one to two feet, maybe more in the Sierra. Maybe more. We could be pushing three feet in, in, in potentially some spots. We may up the numbers, but um, again, that, that's mainly for that, that 319 to 325 um, time period. Uh, two to three feet for the uh, Wasatch looks good. A couple of feet for Snowbull and Brian Head. One to two feet for the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Up to three feet or more for the southern mountains of Colorado. And look at northern New Mexico. Two to three feet you've got a couple or three different storm systems that will roll through that area. And when I said the Pacific Northwest and Northern Tier out of the storm track, it's pretty obvious. You're going to have to wait until late in the period until things start to translate north. All right, so let's go to the northeast. Very light snow here. I just don't have anything big. There were some earlier hope, some signs of hope for maybe a larger storm system late in that period, but... It just doesn't seem like it's going to happen right now. could change, but at this point, I'm only forecasting light snow accumulation through 324. All right, I'll leave you on this chart for the day. Again, 316 through 324. Again, the hot spots, Tomer's Take, Colorado, northern New Mexico, the Wasatch, southern Utah, Arizona, and California in the Sierra. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Again, this is the On the Snow Snow Before You Go forecast. Take care.